Can okay, we just take a minute to highlight some of the new features that have come in version 1.4 of FeckerTalk Optics? FeckerTalk Optics version 1.4 um, has finally come out. It was released on uh, June 13th, 2024. So um, just a few days ago from the time of this recording. And again, this is just going to be a couple of high level things as far as uh, what 1.4 brings. Um, so first, I just wanted to kind of show, um, I, you know, at the hub, and I went to FaggerTalk Optics, and that's kind of where I got to this page, where I can actually now download the latest release, version 1.4, um, download and install it. So I do have that installed already. And, um, you know, one of the you know best places to kind of go about looking for, you know, what's new is in the release notes. And... Um, one thing that is new is that they, under this question mark here in, in Optic Studio, this is the desktop version of Optic Studio, is that there is a um, you know help and about as well as release notes. I do want to show that if I click on about, then this is version 1.4 that's installed. So I'm going to go to release notes real quick. I just want to show some of the um, the new things that came about. So. Bit of a bit of an extensive list. I'm not going to go through all of this, but just highlight a few of the ones that are, um, you know, that are I think kind of you know good, you know, for a quick preview here of what 1.4 brings. So one, we can see that we're in version 1.4 and it has these new features. Um, one of the biggest things is we can now have multiple versions of Factor Talk Optics installed simultaneously uh, on the same PC, meaning that I can have version 1.4 as well as like the previous version I had installed, 1.3. Um, and I actually have that happening right now. So this was version 1.4, but I also had another version here. And this is basically, if I go to about, uh, this was version 1.3.2.9. Uh, so I can maintain older versions of Optic Studio um, if I had to support a, an existing project for you know, for a client um, or for your operations, as well as install the newest version and not have to uninstall. Previously, we had to uninstall the, the previous version. Another interesting use case um, of having the ability to, to install multiple versions is that if I came back here to the uh, FactorTalk Optics, you know, Rockwell does make the betas, uh, the beta releases available. So if I wanted to test the 1.5 release beta, I could actually now install that uh, at the same time, but yet keep my, you know, my production version 1.4 on the PC um, currently. So I'm gonna go back to the release um, release notes for the version 1.4, and so multiple versions. Um, they did add Portuguese and German languages uh, into the Optic Studio, so that's uh, useful for um, if you're in those uh, countries or speak those languages. Um, there's uh, some en enhancements to uh, you know, password protection on the UI widgets and template library, um, right? So I invite you to review uh, you know, here under the, the Studio en Enhancements. Under the controls enhancements, some of the big things is uh, they've been, they have advanced um, the SVG graphics, um, vector graphics, the ability to kind of go in and manipulate the um, kind of some of the individual uh, elements inside that SVG graphic. Well, that that'll be something we'll have to show in in a future video. Um, they also have some improvements with the spin box when you know if it shows you if you're out of range. Um, as well as uh, the ability to, to do some alarm shelving uh, in the alarm uh, controls window. So another thing that we'll have to kind of show in a video. Uh, under containers, there's a new grid layout container, um, which will be something, again, I would like to show you. I have to build up one to show. Um, so the other big thing that came, of course, is the Micro 800, or the microcontroller driver is now an officially um, you know, in the official driver in the production version. Previously in 1.3, it was a feature preview, something that was uh, like a beta, so to speak, something that we said, 
probably best to not use in a production environment, but you could test with it. Now the microcontroller driver is available to use in production. This supports the Micro 800 as well as the MicroLogix 1400. Um, also, the ability to uh, to uh, have external uh, data store using Influx DB. So that's a big uh, thing that's happening. You know, that's one of the changes that's came in version 14 of FactorTalk USC. We now see Influx DB here in optics. Um, another one that is uh, going to be really interesting to, to play around with is the ability now to directly connect to a PowerFlex drive. Um, there will be a, a, a NetLogic script so that I can actually pull data directly from a drive without having to go through a controller uh, using integrated architecture. So uh, that'll be interesting to see. All right, now uh, we talk about feature previews. So um, you know, 1.4 does have a few feature previews. So if I came here to application notes in the, in the underneath the release notes, we can see that the 1.4 release does offer a few feature previews. Um, biggest one probably is going to be the extended tag properties for using the uh, Ethernet IP um, uh, driver. So now we can bring in the uh, extended tag properties, uh, like such as uh, min max engineering units um, here. So some, again, feature previews are designed to be betas. Uh, something to kind of test out with, something that we probably would not recommend using in production. So that's under application notes. But what I also want to show over here is if I go back to the version 1.4 and I go to help, and if I want to go to creating products, products, uh, projects, um, one thing I noticed, big change here, is under communication drivers. If I go to RA Ethernet IP, we're going to see that we now have the addition of support going back to the L6 controller. Um, if I go back to my 1.3 optics and if I go to uh, help here, and if I go to that same spot and I go to RA Ethernet IP, we're going to see that in the previous version, 1.3 version, all we had support for was the 5570 and the 5580. Uh, control logics as well as the compact logics controllers and it was stated in here that um, it was a version maybe I missed it up here up top but oh right right here so it did you know previously state version 32 or later um, there had been uh, some comments in one of the videos and somebody had uh, tested and saw that it did work going back to previous versions so now as we go into the version 1.4 release, we see that the, the 5560 or the L6 control logic CPU is now supported. We also see the, the older legacy compact logics processors, the 35E and the 32E are also supported. And we also see that the drivers say go back now to version 20, 24, 28 and higher. But it does say not all controllers and controller families are supported on these versions of the logics. Um, I think part of that comment there is things like, for instance, the L6 obviously is only version 20. Um, but we can support to older processors and older versions of Studio 5000 now. There's also a note about supporting redundancy. So a, uh, an L6 redundant control logic system, an L7 redundant control logic system, and even L8. Uh, redundant. So support at version 33 for an L8 redundant system, support back to version 20 for an L6 or L7 redundant control logic system. So that's a pretty big enhancement uh, from previous versions as well. So just a real quick, uh, so the other thing was the microcontroller driver. Like we mentioned, um, you know, that was a preview. Uh, beta, uh, you know, kind of a feature preview and something that I had tested in some previous videos in the version 1.3, but now it is official part of the uh, 1.4 uh, release and, you know, officially supported by Rockwell. So uh, essentially this is going to do micro 800s as well as the micro 1400 controller and it kind of shows you 
what data types are supported here that you can, you know, tag types that you can bring in. And that's about all they mention on the Micro 800 driver. So going back to the release notes, uh, again, I invite you to uh, you know, download 1.4 and take a look at some of these new features. I think, uh, again, we'll, we'll make some better videos at least showing off. Uh, let me go back here to system and uh, system features. So there's a few things I definitely want to uh, uh, kind of test out and, and get working, and we'll show those here. Uh, mainly this new um, this new uh, grid layout uh, for making dashboards. Uh, easy easy way of making dashboards is what this kind of grid layout container is going to be all about, as well as uh, some of this enhanced SVG graphics as well and the alarming capabilities, new alarming capabilities that came in. All right, so um, just uh, excited. 1.4 is finally out. It was a little delayed, but finally did come out and. Uh, I invite you to uh, download it and, uh, and take a look.